everyone, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the RDS for your online course about autonomous robots made by the University of Castellón. My name is Ricardo Tellez. I'm the CEO of the Construct. That's the company that has built this online platform where you are practicing your course and you are doing all the exercises that the course requires for you. So you can avoid the installation, the preparation, and all the hassle that uh, somebody has when he tries to make a simulation work or a program work. Here, everything is already prepared for you. And as you can see, we when you get into the RDS by following to this address, then you will get this screen where you can have access to the public simulations that already exist in the platform. And this is the current list of the simulations, and you can see here the simulations of the autonomous robots course that are here listed. One thing is that maybe if you already have been playing around, the system will start in your private simulations phase, place, sorry. And uh, this is something different. These are the simulations that you have created by yourself. In this, this is my case. I have created many, of course. But in your case, that will look different based on the simulations that you have created. So let's start by working with the public simulations. And let's imagine that you are planning to work with the first unit of the autonomous robot course. In this case, you select the first simulation that is this one here and you must start it. In order to start, press the play button here and you get a small uh, description of it and then afterwards press run. After a few seconds, we'll see how the environment is loaded from the internet and it will show us the current simulation together with the notebook that contains the instructions that you are going to, to need in order to follow the, the course. The instructions are going to appear on the left-hand side and the simulation on the center. And here it appears, the simulation. And uh, while this part is the part of the notebook is loading, we can see here that there is a console with all the messages that appear while starting the simulation. And you can have a look in order to check if there is any error or else. Uh, you can click on this uh, eye icon in order to set it static. And I prefer to do like this so the messages doesn't bother me on the simulation. And, of course, you can move yourself around the simulation, select the stuff, move it, or else, like in any other simulation. Here, we have the course notebook that describes how to follow the course, all the different uh, units that contain this course. And then in order to access the different units, just press on one of the links. And in this case, we are not going to use this part here because this is for development. So here you can see all the controllers and files related to the world that you are seeing in this simulation. And let me, for example, load this one. And it's very small in there. I can press this button in order to make it bigger. And this is the model of the one of the controllers of um, of one of the bots. And so here you can see all the files that define the simulation that you are uh, using in this unit. But in this course, you don't need to know about that, maybe in later courses. So uh, then let's start with the first thing is to start with the tutorial. So you read, yes, very good. Then let's go for the first lesson. And here it appears and it shows so it describes how it can work, different um, information, and how it works in order to execute the code that is already written here. You don't have to type any code in this in this tutorial. Well, later when you have to do your exercises, but in, not in the explanation because it's already provided. 
and you can execute it by pressing shift enter I'm going to do that and then it appears here hello world of course because this code the only thing that it does is just to print it but let's do some more interesting things like moving the robot so I'm going to another uh, lesson and then it says different things that you have to do in order to move the robot so as you can see here has been attached as a new tab and I can deattach the tab move it to the side so I can have a full view of this simulation yeah so I have here the simulation and now I need to move to this tab here okay so if you read all the instructions you'll see that in order to move the robot you only have to do is this to launch this code here pressing shift enter then it's executing it says then it's done it's been executed and now I can go to the next thing I have executed the second step and this appear by executing this import and what this allows me is to move in real time the robot by doing this moving the slide I can move in the, on that side I can move it back and also I can make it rotate so basically this is what you can do with the notebook that has been provided for the course and how you follow well then you have to follow by going through all the units that are provided here I'm going to close this one because it's not needed anymore so how to move from here well in two things I'm going to tell you imagine that you have made all these um, units and you have created some code or else and you want to save this because you can want to continue from the point that you have left in this lesson maybe you want to continue tomorrow in this case you have to save your current simulation by pressing this button here the icon and provide another name for example he arm one my simulation and then save it when you save this this will be saved as your private simulation so the next time that you come to the RDS you don't have to go and select the original one there that we have selected here that was the public simulation but your private and that will contain your modifications okay so another thing that I wanted to explain you that is very basic is that in case that you want to change to another simulation for example you have done with all the unit one for the week one and you want to move to the second one okay how do you do that uh, there are several ways of doing it but the fastest and the most efficient way is by present here where the name of the simulation is then you will get a list of all the available simulations for you and as you can see those ones with the pictures are the, the simulations that are provided by public if you remember we launched here the UHR number one then on this side there are the simulations that are private and as you can see it appears now my recently saved simulation UHR simulation okay but this is not what I want to do now I want to launch the next simulation of the course that is the UHR number two so I press this one and automatically runs and as you can see it's very fast to appear why because it doesn't have to start many other things that were required for the others when you launch the system for the first time so here we are on the second one and then we can do the same procedure to launch the number three and so on and so on at any point in time you can remove this part and hide it if you want to play with the simulation for whatever the reason or you can change also the layout of the screen by pressing here different ways of configuring if you want to focus more 
on uh, the coding. You can do like that, and then you will have a lot of space here to create your files and test it and compile manually or uh, do any uh, shell command that you may need. Okay, so I think that basically that's all what I wanted to show you for today. And there are many other things. Let me just tell you that in case that you don't know very much how to do it, you can at any time press this question mark icon that it will show you what each button, each part of the screen means, and you can follow with this tutorial and interrupt at any time. And in case that you want to send us a question directly to the, the construct, okay, related to the platform, you can send us directly a suggestion or question or doubt by pressing this icon here. This directly will show a question screen, and whatever you write there, it will be received by us. Finally, once you have finished, remember to close the system because this will interrupt the counting of hours. Remember that you have 50 hours in order to do the, the job in this system. So uh, please be uh, careful with your hours. And whenever you finish, press this button, Terminate Simulation. And this will stop your hours uh, that are counting in order to decrease your number of hours that you have available. And that's all. So I hope this was uh, interesting for you and, and help to clarify some of the doubts. In case of not, do not hesitate to contact us in any other way by the forum, through this button there in the platform, sending us a pri private email, whatever, and we'll be happy to answer your questions and help you in case that you, you are in trouble. Thank you very much. Cheers.